Question 6. In a ride at a theme park, a person is strapped into a pod that is attached to two stretched bungee cords. The bungee cords behave like strings. Figure 10 shows a person using the ride. So that's figure 10. This is before and after. Question 6.1. Which energy store increases as the bungee cords are stretched? So this is the stretch bungee cord. So you have stored energy in there. And the energy is going to be converted into something else. And the energy stored will be elastic potential energy. Question 6.2. When the pod is released, the pod accelerates upwards. Before the pod is released, the extension of each of the two bungee cords is 8 meters. The spring constant of each bungee cord is 735 newtons per meter. The mass of the pod is 240 kilogram. Gravitational field strength equals 9.8 newtons per kilogram. Calculate the maximum height reached by the pod. Use the physics equations sheet for six marks. So first, the elastic potential energy has an equation and that equation is a half spring constant times extension squared. And the, this energy stored will be then converted into gravitational potential energy. And the gravitational potential energy is the mass times the gravitational field strength times the height obtained. This is the height obtained here. So that will be h from there to there. Now we need to find the height h. So we have to equate this one to that one. We have to equate the two energies together because the elastic potential energy is now transferred into gravitational potential energy. So we've done that. Therefore, we need to write the gravitational potential energy equals the elastic potential energy. And we need to make h the subject. So h will become a half k is squared over mg. A half is 0 0.5. So we can write that as 0 0.5 k is squared over mg. Now we need to populate the values. So h will be equal to 0 0.5 times 7.35 times 8 squared divided by the mass 240 times 9.8 gravitational field strength. Therefore, h is now equal to 20 meters. We would check the units required as meters. So we've got the meters, we just need to put 20 here. And that's it. Question 6.3. The actual maximum height reached by the pod will be lower than the correct answer to question 6.2. Explain why. Two marks. Air resistance will oppose this motion of the pod upward. So that's a kind of friction. Not all of the elastic potential energy will be transferred to the gravitational potential energy. 